said, fuck funny. Fuck funny. My life did not go at all how I thought it was going to go. When I was in high school, I thought by 25, I was going to have a house, a dog, a white chick. <laughs> Cause fuck Latinas, they're fucking violent. I mean, not you guys, I love you guys. You guys seem peaceful. You guys seem docile. Cool. These are good, you know what I'm saying? But the violence is outside in the world, it's not in here. It's fucking in here. There's a dude right now next to a girl that he knows what not to say, when not to say it. Look at that, he, that motherfucker looked down and she covered her face. That motherfucker looked down and Tiene razón este vato, no? This guy knows what he's talking about. And she's like, oh, that's me. I fucking felt it over here. And then, don't worry, the couple right behind you, same thing. Like, same thing, they're clapping now, like, yup. Yeah. And you heard the yup yeah, right now, yup. Yeah. Girls are violent, you guys are territorial, it's cool, you guys are cholas, it's cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you fucking date a chola, this is your her territory, dog. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Like, I didn't want to wear this shirt because I might want to fall in love with a crypt in here, but. <laughs> I look good in red, so. Whatever, dispensa. <laughs> That's Cholo for, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it's Cholo for, I'm sorry, or Cholo for, I got, forgive me. <laughs> but no matter what it is, it's like this. <laughs> Tough, dude. I've been doing a lot of mushrooms lately. Dude, that's just, the FDA just approved it for PTSD and fucking anxiety and depression. Like, don't knock it till you try it. I mean, I tried that shit in 97, but now FDA approves it. Like, I tell my mom, I did shrooms last week, and she's like, okay, bueno, que bien, que bien. <laughs> curate, mijo, curate, curate. <laughs> my mom's like, I fucked up. I fucked up a lot, so shroom it up, dude. Is that that heals you, then fucking heal. <laughs> my mom was crazy, dude. My mom's crazy. My mom hated when you snapped your teeth at her. Like, you did that shit? Oof. It was like almost like you shoved the broom up her asshole without unexplained. Like, she didn't know it was coming, you know what I'm saying? She got that. Like, imagine someone just fucking shoves a broom in here without you knowing, like, you're fucking knitting, and <laughs> someone shoves a broom. Oh, what the fuck, motherfucker? You're gonna get a little angry. You know? And some of you are gonna be like, oh, I think I like that. You know? <laughs> That's what life's about. You discover new things. And you know what you like and what you don't like. <laughs> I remember, I think I was like 14 years old, and I was watching TV on my. 13 inch RCA that was sitting on top of our Zenith 46 inch that didn't work. Like it didn't work, but our, so we went to Kmart and got a 13 inch. And by this time, a few buttons had fallen into the TV. So our remote control was my toothbrush. And my mom would scold you, like, my mom would scold you, like, she, my mom had, like, if, we, if she was a comic, she had, like, five minutes of material that she said for an hour. And you had to sit there and take it. I was like, fuck this, vieja. I don't care if you travel 3,000 miles to give birth to me here in the United States. Like, stop being so angry, lady. At least you made it. <laughs> the second time. Because the first time she got caught. She got caught. And I fuck that. I love that she got caught. She gets mad when I say, like, I love that you got caught. Come me. I was like, we're puta. Like, you know what? <laughs> Which is Salvadorian for eat shit, son of a bitch. And I'm like, don't call yourself bitch. Mom, I love you. 
actually, my mom was hardcore. She used to call me hijo de 70 mil putas. <laughs> if you know Spanish math, that's son of 70,000 bitches. <laughs> swear, swear to God, my mom, that's what she did. I heard that shit at least a hundred times growing up. Hijo de 70 mil putas. And then she got pissed at me. This is where it happened. Dude. This is where it happened. She got mad at me. She was sweeping. And she's pissed at me. Ya no quiero que con esos negros. Sorry, black people. My mom's racist. I don't want you hanging out with those black people no more. I'm like, why? They're so nice. It really worked. Bubba was really nice. That was his name. I'm not making it up, dude. Cut a hey, hey. And I was like, why not? Ah, shut the fuck up. She was pissed, dude. I remember this shit. And she just kept yapping. I'm like, fuck this, dude. I'm getting on. This is bullshit. And I was like, yeah, ma. And she's like, next time you fucking snap your teeth at me, whatever the fuck I have in my hands, I'll fuck you up with. And, like, <laughs> and she put the broom up against the wall. And I was like, all right, cool. At least I'm not going to get hit with that. <laughs> like, fuck, all right. She started cooking. And I'm like, I'm definitely not talking shit right now because fucking some pots and pans over here and shit. What the fuck's going on with this Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I'm like, shit. Mira, hijo de 70 mil putas. La próxima vez que hagas eso, te voy a dar a pija. It's really confusing, by the way, because all my best people are Mexican, and some words are just, they don't, you know, like, like earlier, someone was ordering a paloma, and if you're Salvadorian, you're basically ordering a dick. <laughs> but if you're Mexican, it's like this fucking drink with oranges and fucking grapefruit and tequila. And it sounds delicious. But if you're, if you're Salvadorian, that shit's fucking filthy. You just want a dick in your mouth. That's what you want. <laughs> After the drink, look at you, Susia. The fuck? She's like, I want some dick after the drink. It's all good. I was pissed though, and I snapped my teeth, and she told me to check myself before I wrecked myself. She started cooking, I'm like, I'm not fucking running around with no like hot water and boiling pots and shit, so cool, all right? But then she kept going like 20 more minutes. I got fucking pissed off, I got up, I walked up to the TV, grabbed my toothbrush, turned it off. And I'm walking away, and I'm like... <sighs> she started sweeping again. And a broom just broke over my back. And I was like, oh, shit, that burns, though. I was feeling the burn. I was 14, though. I wanted to be a man. I was like, oh, shit, don't be a bitch, bro. Don't be crying. Fuck that, dude. She's strong. Look at that. She broke that broom. She gave her, let's think about the positive things. Let's think about the positive things. She, you have a strong mom. Holy shit. <laughs> that shit really burns. Oh my God. I didn't know what to do and I just didn't want to be like a bitch. So I just turned around and I was like, Kunta, Kunta Kente. She's like, come mierda, Kunta. I was like, all right. She didn't see roots. I just wanted to say my name's Toby. She's like, whatever Walter Humberto Reyes. Humberto's the worst middle name in the world. Humberto. The H is silent, by the way. Humberto of your wife. I gotta deal with this shit, dude. I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of Southeast LA, to be honest with you. I was tired of all the cholos. Like, I grew up in Cudahy, you know, they bring it up. It's the smallest city in LA County. It's like six blocks long. It's across the track. Like five, five blocks wide. I couldn't carry 
books in my backpack. I had to carry like different color shirts. So I had to change my shirt every block. Just so I didn't get jumped. I think like you guys need a lot more explanation. Like there's two cholos over here like, ha ha, that's funny dog. The other person's like, why do you change so much? He probably has a sweating problem. It's just, I felt that, you know what I'm saying? Like the cholos and cholas got it. They, oh yeah, fuck that. You can wear blue and red, dog. She was definitely a chola, right? Eh? You hear that laugh right there? Like, nah. Nah. I don't trust that kind of laugh. Man, fuck that shit. That violent goat laugh, like, that shit scares the fuck out of me. Ah! Oh, shit. Fuck that. You were gonna bite the foreskin off of my dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel that shit. I think we don't trust our gut enough. I don't think we trust our instincts enough. Like, you know when you're gonna hook up with the wrong person. You, we all know it. All of us. I don't think anybody in here, if I asked you right now, was your gut ever wrong? Was your instinct ever wrong? Raise your hand if your instinct has ever been wrong. How many bad decisions have you made? Raise your hand if you made a bad decision. Be honest, motherfuckers. Because every fucking hand should be going up. That's how dumb we are. Our fucking system's like, don't suck that dick, bitch. Don't suck that dick. You know better. You know those are bumps. Those are bumps. Those are bumps. Those are that's not a welcome mat. That those are fucking HPV, bitch. Like, don't do it. Those are bumps. That's not a speed bump. Like, suck the dick slow. No. That's don't suck the dick bumps. That's what that is. Don't suck the dick bumps. Dude, I, according to statistics, statistics. Say that word, that's a fucking hard word. But according to statistics, half of you have sucked some dirty dicks. And of those half, half of those were dudes. Oh, look at that shit. Who told you, dick? Fuck this bottle. I like them to write down. It's hard, bro. It's hard. It's hard. No, the, 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 girls, the girls are hard to date. The girls, the girls are hard to date. You know, like, so hard to date. You're walking out of this world like I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what I mean? No, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Stop telling me how much pain you are, Chola. You're working on Pollo Loco, not Chipotle. Bro, you know they want they fucking t- like all these quotes on Instagram. They're con- oh, that's for me. Yeah, I am a queen. <laughs> Why you smell like a peasant? <laughs> Lay in your head. You can be a queen. That's cool. But why you smell like a peasant? Why you smell like a dirty choncha? Like, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. You smell like a fucking hippopotamus, like kneecap, like right behind me. Just a lot. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know where that came from. I don't even know where. It's... I just brought that up right now. Like it just popped into my head. I just imagine a hippopotamus, like this side of the hippopotamus, probably smells. Probably like its neck. Like probably a hippopotamus neck. It smells. Probably stinks. Some of you have a choncha smells like that. I'm gonna leave you with this. I got to, bro. I gotta leave you with this. Cause I'm about education. I'm about to not, I'm about knowledge. I read books all the time. I just have a hard time saying statistics. Don't judge me on that word. Fuck you, I heard somebody whisper on there. Yeah, but he can't say statistics. Yeah, he can, I'm just doing it for the comedy. Statistics. Oh, I, can't, I can't say it, never mind. I can't be angry when I say that word. 
I just want to share an experience I had. I was dating this Puerto Rican chick, only because tiene tremendo. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you guys know that Bible verse. I was dating her, then I was tight. I goes, she had a fat ass. It was awesome. You know when you start dating, it's all cute. Like, oh my God, you're a Taurus. I'm an Aquarius. We don't belong together, but fuck it. I love you. Are like, you right? Look at that fucking... Oh, oh, the universe says we belong together. It gets real cute, you know, like three weeks later, I was like, hey, can I ask you a personal question? She's like, of course you can. We've been dating for three weeks. I'm an open book, boo. Wow. Get nice. I just think, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm a horny, I'm a, a typical horny Aquarius. I was just like, what's your favorite position? She's like, doggy style. I was like, wow. Like Kaepernick, that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Layaway right there. Like I want to go to Don Roberto's real quick and just put a ring on layaway. Like maybe I want to marry her later. Maybe not. And so like when that happened, when she said that, that was the same position. I like. I was like, what? And like a typical dude, I started lying. I started saying shit that I could not come through with. Like, oh, I'm gonna make you come three times. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab you by your hair with my right hand. I'm gonna fucking. You know, like, fucking grab your hip with my left hand. I'm going to grow a fucking third hand and grab my fucking hand. <laughs> Just like shit that there's no way it could happen, right? Like, I'm just promising all this shit. And we go back. We go back to her place. Well, actually, I took it back to my place. I took it back to my place. And it was cool. I, took it, I made her take off her boots right away because I didn't want to wake up my mom. <laughs> They're tile. Like, that's disrespectful. Like, what the <laughs> So we went right away to my room. I fucking threw on the laptop, threw a little Sade, threw some candles on, La Virgen de Guadalupe, you know, those little cinnamon candle. Just whatever I had in the room, you know, just to set the, I want to be spiritual and I want to be good with diabetes, like whatever. You know. Sade is playing, it's a little too loud though. I don't want to wake up my mom. And she tells me, she's like, you want me to take off my skirt? I'm like, fuck no. That's like a fucking, like a criminal surprise under it. <laughs> and it's time. <laughs> face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. Face down, ass up. That's shh. You're going to wake up my mom. <laughs> That's called a hula hoop. <laughs> selfish, guys, selfish, everybody wins. <laughs> right, ladies? Everybody wins, huh? Okay, guys, if you guys are doing this shit, you're being selfish, dog. You're being selfish. Here, everybody wins. That shit feels really good, bro. Do this once in a while, like a little intense man again. What the man is going to do? Do it for me. Do it for me. Woody, You know what I'm just saying? So I'm doing the fucking hula hoop right now. I'm like, oh shit. And I flip this shit off. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I see some shadows right there. I'm like, what? I see a crown. I was like, what? 1952? 2006? Rest in peace, mom. I'm like, what the fuck? You can't tell me your favorite position is doggy style. Man. You have a fucking memorial tattoo for your mom? Right where I was going to come? Like, what the fuck? Cause we're both Latinos, so nobody brought a condom. So I was like, what the shit? And I'm starting to lose it, right? So I take my hula hoop to second grade. I'm like, like, I don't even give a fuck if she comes once now. I'm like, fuck this. Ooh. And I'm losing them. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, take off your dress. Fuck that, take off. And I just want to cover that shit. I want to cover her mama. So she takes her dress off and I cover it up. I'm like, all right. And all of a sudden I'm like, what the fuck are those? And I see some tat, like some shadows on her shoulder blades. I'm like, and I grab the Virgen de Guadalupe candle. And I'm like, Cause I need more light, dude. I need more light. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a fucking face. That one's smiling. Is this one crying later? No. That one's smiling. She had fucking tattoos of her babies. I was like, what the fuck? I'm taking this hula hoop to kindergarten. I'm like, ah! Oh! I'm acting like a 
like a retarded kid in kindergarten. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to come. I don't give a fuck where I come. I'm going to hit the fucking crown. It's going to fucking bounce off the crown and hit one of the babies in the face. Come on, dude. You got to tell somebody that shit. Nobody wants to come on a baby's face. I love Gerber. <laughs> Can't wait to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. My name is Walter Reyes. Have a good night. Thank you.